Hello dear viewer and welcome back to Dark Mist on iOS with me Jalanon. I will be adding background music that is different from the game's background music, uh, in case you missed that announcement from last time. Uh, it appears that, you know, monetization wise, they don't like me using that, so, you know. I wanted to cover the game a little bit more, at least go through all the classes, and see what we can do. Also, seeing what we can do, do we want to buy any of this stuff? Hmm. Book of Knowledge might be good, but then again, with our beacon strategy, we probably don't want to draw cards if we have our beacon on top. So, yeah. No. Ooh. Red flower. Huh. That's not a bad one. It is expensive, though. Hmm. Let's see. That might be worthwhile. Ooh. That also might be worthwhile, but I think we skip it for the gold. Okay, so now we have 160 gold. The real question is, do we want anything? The boomerang might be good. Helps us go through the deck even faster. Stargaze. <laughs> That's another one to consider. Flashback. Oh, add a card from your block pile to your hand, eh? That seems really good for us, actually. So, yeah. Let's do that. Let's upgrade. Flashback. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. We're doing that. Uh, hmm. Beacon. Yeah, let's make you better. We're kind of making it all about you this time around. Uh, I do like the Comet Strike. Hmm. Stargazer could be good, but once again, I think we don't want to hit the beacons with that too often, so we're not going to worry about you too much. Let's delete some stuff, like a strike. Okay. Instead of that strike, let's get the boomerang. Overdraft, what do you do? Ah, that might be good, but hmm, not terribly interested. Starlight, on the other hand. Ooh, that could be really good, since sometimes you can play the beacon for free and then starlight it. Okay. Oh, that's also kind of nice. And we can do that pretty easily with our foreseeing. So, yeah. Okay, we've only got 23 gold left. I do want to read what Perfect Foresight does, if it'll let me do that. 4C4, add this card back to your hand after it is played. Ooh. Oh, so you can combo that with various other card draw cards and blah blah blah, get the perfect hand and all that. Interesting. Insight. That's not half bad. Starlight. Just increases the damage. Okay. Hmm. Spirit guy. We can make you cost a zero. Hmm. I wonder if that's... Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll do it. But I wonder if that means only the first card on top of your draw pile counts for that. Because it seemed like it didn't work last time we used it. So maybe I played a card already or something? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's Comet Strike first. Do you guys have Taunt... No, but they cause extra attacks, so we definitely want to get rid of them first. Uh, so we will put back Starlight. And realize that was a mistake, because there was a beacon right there. Uh, we'll put both of those in the block pile. And we can Stargazer. Boop. Pick one card. We're going to take the Starlight. Okay, Starlight, you... And we can get back Creeping Nightmare or Encourage Fate, which we will do. Okay, and then I can use you and do that. Okay, so we should only get hit twice. All right. No, three times. Hmm. Oh, they attack multiple times anyway. Got it. 
Okay, well, we can do that. Spirit guide. Hmm. So we can use the boomerang. Let's use you first, right? What? Why can't I play it? I thought I could play it now. Hmm. Do you work? Can be played. Okay, I'd like to play it. Okay. Hmm. Well, they say it can be, but I'm not convinced. Okay, well, let's play this now. Hopefully KO some stuff. We did not. Yep, they gained plus one health. Choose one card. Hmm. Let's take the boomerang. We can at least deal some damage with it. Hmm. We'll do this. We'll take back Encourage Fate. Hmm. We can reduce the cost of it by one. So why not? Okay, we did that. Can I still not play this? So yeah, it seems like that's bugged. So Spirit Guide is not working. I am sad. Okay. Boomerang, confirm, confirm. Yeah, so that doesn't seem to be working. That's sad. Okay. Well, now we know which card to get rid of. Hmm. Hmm. What would we want in there? Hmm. I think we want Starlight. Yeah. Okay. Flashback, so we see what these are. Okay, we'll put planetary alignment in our block pile and stuff. But no. Let's put you back, you back. And we'll move the rest over. We did some damage there. Let's take our Starlight. Okay, we do two damage. Let's double check. So this gives everybody more attack power. Oh. So it already killed stuff. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going for you first. Then we will take the Beacon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we do that. Uh, six damage twice. And then, of course, when this thing engaged... Right, I should have double-checked that. Oops. Okay. Well, we didn't use one of our energy to the fullest. If we'd taken that one property, the tentacle I think it was, we would have dealt two extra damage. Maybe KO'd that other guy on the right. Why don't we? Uh, so we know the next card's going to cost one. That's already pretty good. Hmm. Okay, we'll do that first. Okay. Then we can do these. Uh, we'll let both of those go to our block pile. Oh! There's a weathered man in a cage. When you free him, he picks up a hammer and asks, Chicken head or chicken heart? Oh. Change all strike cards or upgrade them. Hmm. I mean, they're pretty decent. Hmm. Let's upgrade. So now they all deal three damage for one. Not bad. Okay. Well. Play the beacon. Then we can deal six damage. Uh, let's do it to the big boy over here. Yeah. Okay. And, alright. We're going to block pile to your hand. Aha. Uh -huh. We use divination first. Put you on top. And there we go. Now we can deal six multiple times. Perfect. Ooh, quiver. Yes, confirm. I would like that. 
Uh, what do you do? Two weak cards into your life pile. Hmm. Okay. So I think we want to kill the guy on the right first. Or the middle. Okay. Hmm. What do we get now? There are some minor. Deal four damage instead of six? Hmm. I don't know which one's correct. The top card of your life pile is a skill card. Oh. And we can see whether that's true or not, usually. Also pretty good. Deal four damage at a card from your life pile to your hand. Hmm. Could also be good. Um, I think we take the Ursa Minor card. I don't think we have a property that automatically upgrades that. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm not sure why that text was different than the card. Okay. Hmm. We have something in the block pile we want in our hand. Maybe. We can use divination again. Hmm. Okay, so we've got Starlight. Planetary alignment and stuff. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. So I think we do this. Huh. Well, we don't need to look for Starlight anymore. Um. You. Nope, wrong thing. Oh. Oh well, we'll do that. Put those away. Oh, maybe the stuff, <laughs> if the beacon's on top, does the future reward show that damage? Huh. Because, yeah, the Ursa Minor was showing six. And, of course, with the beacon at six, but, huh. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, then. Uh, yeah. All right, and I didn't need Starlight. Oops. Should have taken another planetary alignment. But that's okay. You down. Hmm, we have just two left. This is six damage to everything. And we don't need the starlight, so yeah. Okay. End our turn. Okay. Spirit guy for free. Can I not use you? Hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess it just lets us know what's next or something. Yeah, all right, we'll just take it as that. Uh, no point in using that yet. Starlight. Aha, right. Beacon. Starlight. Boop. There we go. Um, I'll strike you. And there's one of the weeks that they're putting in the deck. Kill that guy and that guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that outcome. Okay, this boss, though. Oh. Okay. Well, we can't really hit him before he comes up to the front, I think. We're not built around that. Okay. So we want to KO this person first, because otherwise these guys will do some crazy things with making her give us more weak cards. So, yeah. We don't want that. Okay. Hmm. Let's put flashback back, maybe? Yeah. Okay. That hit not the right one, but it will. Huh. Put you back. Creeping back there. Do that. And be sad that we have a useless card. Okay. And the rogues are getting more powerful. Getting more powerful. Alright, we don't have... Hmm. But we do have planetary alignment, which is all we need right now. We can afford everything at the moment, so... I'm not terribly interested in messing with anything. Oh, blue flower. That seems good. We'll take it. Hmm. Alright, and once we've been attacked eight times, we gain immunity to the next attack. Something else to think about. Hmm. 
Now we'll flash back. Huh. Put back the insight. Let the other stuff all go away. We can pick a card. I guess we'll go with Starlight. KO that dude. Get the beacon. Okay. Can then strike that guy down. Hmm. I think we'll go for this guy so then they can't make him more powerful. Alright. Put the anything back. Yeah, put the insight back. Let the beacon go on. Okay. Hmm. Spirit guy for no reason again. <laughs> it hurts. Okay, the old dossier. Card from your block pile to your hand. Probably a starlight. Starlight, starlight. Blah, 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 blah. We'll do that. Get the beacon on top. Excellent. Um. So we want to KO these guys. This guy first, then that guy. And as far as I can tell... Hmm. This is weird, but we're going to do it this way. Okay. So we drew our two extra cards. We're going to use you now so we can get rid of the beacon. We can play this to do an extra damage. Okay, we got a Vertigo card coming out. Hmm. Okay. What do we want to do here? Comet Strike? Comet Strike. Uh, what the. No, no, wrong thing. Okay. Well, oops. I was going to let that go to the block pile, but oh well. I keep on wanting to <laughs> think of it the wrong way. Oh well. Yep, divination. Okay. Well, we're doing that for sure. This is skill card. I guess it doesn't matter since there's only one enemy anyway, but, you know. Boop. Boop. Good thing we have these beacons. Alright. He is taking a lot of our stuff, though. Which isn't great. Okay, the old dossier. Oh, you have to pull it to your hand to play it. That lets us draw cards, because we played another card. Nice. Okay, I want the beacon on top, if I can do that. So I guess we have to do that if we want to... Nope. Okay. Well, we tried. And we can try some more, actually, if we... Mm. No? Really? But we know you work. We know you work. Why? Why cool world? Uh, okay. Hmm. I guess it's just the first one, right? Because you know, it looks like we should be able to do this. It doesn't want to let me do it. Let me do it the first time, though. It doesn't say it has to be a skill card, right? No. We have the energy to play it. I would like to play it. Fine. Maybe we have to play everything else first. Okay. Well, clearly this is kind of an awkward interaction. Hopefully the devs can look at this. I don't know if they're still working on it, though. All right. Well... Did what we could. Okay. Well, we're definitely playing Planetary Alignment for zero. No reason not to. That's eight. 
And this is the KO. I'll take it. Uh, doesn't matter. We win! Okay. Wisdom bead. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I'd rather get thorns. I think that one is the best one. Boop. Astral vision. Oh, that seems cool. Solar flare. Hmm, also cool. Hmm. We haven't really needed this since we already have a bunch of upgrades anyway. Uh, do we get to choose which card from our left pile goes to our hand? Because that could be cool. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're getting you. That seems fun. I think we want you. Yeah, we'll do that. Do we want another insight? Nah, there's no need. Double hit. Huh. Could be good, but we kind of are already at a point where we can't afford to play everything. So, what we really need is more energy. Stuff to generate energy and all that. Hmm. We still have a bunch of money, though. Do we want another Encourage Fate? It's pretty great. Hmm. How many of those do we even have? Can I look at my cards right now? We only have two Encourage Fates. You know what? We get another one. Cause and effect. Ooh, wait, what? That's weird. Huh. But since we have so many things that benefit from going into the block pile, that could be great. It's like... Deal four damage for two and get a bunch of extra benefits. Huh. Oh, that's so weird. Let's do it! Okay, what happens if we do that? That's just more damage, not bad. More damage. Also not bad. Yep. Also not bad. Oh, we can make it cheaper. So it's easier to put into your block pile. But we don't need to worry about that because of 4C. Not really. Starlight is just more damage, which isn't our primary usage for it anyway. So really, let's upgrade Solar Flare. And if we can, we'll upgrade Encourage Fate as well. Because that goes twice if we can afford to play it. So yeah, booyah. By the way, you can play this in portrait orientation. So that's one other thing to keep in mind. Hmm. Do we want a new card? Mind reader. Could be useful, but doesn't deal damage. Ooh, yes, full moon. Okay, that's what we wanted. All right, we don't have anything great in our pile yet, so let's divination first. Hmm. And we'll put you there. You go back. A little Stargazer. Pick one card. Oh, we keep the weakness from our previous boss encounters. Oops. I want to delete a bunch of cards. Oh well. Uh, pick one card. You. Anything else goes in there. Okay. Hmm. So we didn't get the opportunity to do what we wanted yet. So let's Starlight. But first, okay, when other, any other enemies die, this enemy gains power. And this thing makes us lose energy. So we want to kill the birds first. Hmm. Oh, we kind of want this thing to power up. <laughs> That's bad. But not really. We don't need the gold. Okay. Yeah, so we go for the birds first, then these guys. Alright, so we have a plan of action. Bird is the word. All right. Hmm. Okay, so this should be the most damage for the energy we have. And then it wasn't terrible. That worked out. Ah, and our thorns activated. Nice. But that did make the other bloodthirsty bird a little bit stronger. Hmm. Okay, let's use divination. 
choose one card. You. There we go. So our planetary alignment is still zero. Wave it. It's still worth playing. First, we'll just do this. Okay. We'll just put you back. Everything else activates. Okay. Should really do that. That would have been better to start with that. Oh, well. Hmm. So, mimic these guys. Upon death, I lose energy. So, we want to deal as much damage as we can before that. Let's do this. And this is four damage. Ah, oh, I forgot. Playing cards lets me draw. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> Curses. Oh, I should pitch attention to that. Oh, flower, you moved on me. I'm gonna blame you for this instead of me. That seems reasonable. Right? Okay. Hmm. Okay, put the beacon back, so planetary alignment, then beacon, yeah, everything else can go away, what do we want back, in the hand, probably this one actually, uh, we'll lose energy anyway, right, no, we discard random card, oh, now we lose energy, okay, yep, 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 all right. Hmm. Comet Strike isn't terrible. And another Starlight wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Increase the attack power of the target enemy by two. And we can target a card in the middle row. I think I'd rather have Starlight. Okay. So yeah, that's all we can do right now. Oh well. Until some more damage to the Mimic. This guy makes us discard a card. He's got Taunt and Iron Defense. Okay. Uh, we've got the beacon. How many... We do have uh, several of those cards that benefit from going into our block pile. So first things first, we do this. Oh, that was the wrong card! Oh well. It worked. I guess. Oh, uh, can I target anything? No. Curses. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Put you away. Do the damage to the mimic. No. We are sad. Um, what do we want here? Okay, so he won't attack. Oh, he does have to. Uh, with agile, he can attack immediately. Okay. Other enemies in the front row gain agile. And it also has agile. Okay. Hmm. All right. I think we're just going to have to do this, basically, and prepare. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, that happened. Thorns basically brought that guy to the front. Hmm. Put you back. You away, aha, uh -huh. we get a free starlight. Ooh, astral vision. Hmm, don't need it yet though. So starlight free. You have more attack power. Pick a card. Beacon, full moon, let's do beacon. Yeah. Okay. So if I paid with astral vision now, I would still the same amount basically because this would go down to zero this would go down to one doesn't matter same result okay um i think i have to go for this guy first right yeah then we go for mimic boy okay uh, let's pick beacon why not treasure chest won't open you decide to Force it open. No. Reveal the sacred medallion of the faithful. Or ignore it. Ah, oh, okay. Huh. 
Is there anything we don't care about? Is it random? So we could probably get rid of the rat tail and not worry too much. I like our gain, 40 gold. Really, I like all of our properties. They're all pretty good. Oh wait, we, we do have the sacred medallion. <laughs> okay, so each time you trigger tin for C effects, Ooh, which we have a bunch of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, nope. We uh, take this hourglass. Definitely seems made for us. Okay, and I should have taken a different card, but meh. Alright then. Hmm. Divination. Okay. Put something on the top of the pile. I'll put you back. Boomerang. Have to go for you first. Eh. You back. Hmm. Well, we went back from the block pile. Could get divination. Could get the beacon. You know what? Yeah. Do that. Take the beacon plus. We'll do more damage this way. And I can use the normal strike and the encourage fate. Okay. Do that. And since it's random, yeah, we can avoid the block guy. Okay then. Alright. What are we up to now? Right now we only... Yeah, we don't... Yeah, okay, now we'd gain something, I think. Right. Yeah. There we go. Now we can afford to play everything. Alright then, uh, we're definitely using this first. Okay. Hmm. Rebirth effect will trigger. Yeah, we go for the wolf guy first. Boop. All right. Hmm. Let's divination. Okay. Choose one card. I guess we'll put up the solar flame. Okay. We just have divination in there. Hmm. You know what? Let's just uh, divination again. Choose one card. Put your back again. Okay. Then I could divination again. Because why not? Okay. Divination. Back you go, beacon. <laughs> okay, so we want to end with starlight if we use it. Uh, we could Solar Flare. That does seem like a decent idea. Of course, it costs a bunch to do it. If we had Astral Visions, that'd be nice, but we don't. Hmm. On the other hand, we just use Encourage Fate. There we go. Uh, I think we'd rather just get the 10 gold there, weirdly enough. Okay, then we can use this, KO a bunch of those guys. All right, that worked out pretty good. And we didn't get to reduce one of the ones that we could have played, okay. Well, all right. And then somebody got KO'd by our thorns, nice. What do you do? Hmm. Do not know deserts and stuff. Who knew? Okay, we'll play both of those, I guess, for now. Uh, we have to go for you. For C. We'll just let both of those go. Oh, Evil Destiny. Ooh. That's interesting. So we can basically infinitely draw cards with that, potentially, if we have the ability to keep drawing cards on top of the deck. Hmm. Draw a card and deal damage equal to the cost of the card to all enemies in the front row. That's interesting. 
We don't have too many high cost cards though, so no. Hmm. Proceed death would be interesting. It's still useful. Just as a better strike, basically. Huh. Maybe we take it just because. Yeah, it's cool looking. It's gold. Why not? Uh, for C. We'll let both of those pass so we deal some extra damage. Nope. Yeah, we didn't spend all our energy again. It'd be nice if we could get the tentacle prop. But oh well. Full moon. Then we get a card from our block pile to our hand. Okay. We'll do this. From our block pile to our hand, eh? Hmm. I think we want most of these to go back. Do that, let the strike pass. Into our hand. What do we want here? Hmm. I think we want maybe starlight. Yeah. Beacon. that. Never mind. Okay. Well, we tried. Discard a card. Yep. And then we just play some more cards so we get closer to being able to redraw cards. Okay. And I can't afford you. Curses. Alright. Hmm. We're almost through... If I could get through five more cards. Huh. Okay, let's try. Actually, let's just do this first. Okay. Astral Vision. We could still play two things, but we couldn't play Ursa Minor. Let's play Ursa Minor. Take out one of these dudes. And we did not get the skill card thing. Hmm. Okay. Start working on that guy. Put you back, put you back. We want those next turn. Alright. Hmm. But yeah, that's the problem with 4C death, is it's hard to make it work. Dark pose. Hmm. Divination. Choose a card. I guess we'll put you on top. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this. We'll put you back. Okay. And then we drew cards. Yep. Well then. At least we get you to work. Yeah, we'll do Solar Flare. Got the Adventurer's Journal. 20 XP. Uh, that's probably worth it. Get another level up. We could get another cause and effect. Hmm. Starlight, though, but you know, we don't always need it. I do like it. Yeah, okay. We'll take it. I probably should have just skipped. I think we're at the point where we're good, but you never know for sure. Hmm. This negates our props. Oh, gains health equal to half the number of props you're carrying, and it looks like that might continue throughout the battle. So, having the number of props we have might be bad. Okay. Well, we're doing that. We have one energy left. We're definitely doing that. 
Okay. Why not do that? It'll be reborn. Yep. Okay. Well, at least we use all our energy this time. Hmm. So we got a bunch of cards in there. So we could finish with the cause and effect if we do this properly. Uh, let's use the Comet Strike. Let's put back the old dossier. Hmm. There's a chance for some minor is good. It's not the best chance, but it's a chance. Or, you know, we just do this. Oop. There's a minor, did you just, or no, cause and effect. Oh, if it kills an enemy. I should have, yeah. Read that more closely. Whoops. At least it took damage entering the front row from our musket. That's nice. Hmm. Beacon. Insight. Old dossier. Hmm. Maybe we take Encourage Fate this time. Yeah. So we'll start with you. Encouraging Fate. And then we do that. Okay, well it's at half health already. That's not so bad. Hmm. Astral Visions actually saves us some energy. Nice. We can do that. Bam, bam. Let everything else pass. And we get something for our hand. What do we want in our hand? Hmm. Maybe you? <laughs> Not really, but oh. Uh, we'll do that. That. Here we go. We'll put the beacon on top. Deal some more damage. Excellent. Alright. Wasn't the best play, but I'll take it. Okay, yeah, and he's gaining a bunch of health. Ooh. Okay, so we have to focus on dealing a bunch of damage. Alright. Well, definitely you over our Creeping Nightmare. I tap card. Okay, I can't do anything else cool there. Alright, at least he's only gaining 7 a turn. A spirit Guide, Starlight. Yeah, it won't let me play it, looks like. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Hmm. Okay, maybe... No. Hmm. Okay, well, we need to focus on damage. But we also need a bunch more cards. So I think what we're looking for is not in our block pile right now. I am sad. Oh, will. Uh, I'll take the Encourage Fate. That's pretty good damage. Do that. Stargazer. Okay. Encourage Fate. And we wait. Pick a gear. Unwritten contract. Oh. You cannot play more than five cards per turn? No. No, no, no. You have no cards in your life pile, you increase the attack power, okay. The maximum cost of all cards is reduced to four energy. Doesn't matter for us, but uh, thank you, I guess. Hmm. I think we'll take the incense burner. Because we'll probably reach that at some point. Especially with our cause and effect thing. So yeah, I think we'll end our episode here, dear viewer. Subscribe to see more iOS gaming videos, comment below on if you've enjoyed Dark Mist, and leave a like. Yeah, yeah, if you've enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you have a great day, dear viewer.